Joined now by our Blue Jays reporter Scott Mitchell. And despite the win, you say Kikuchi doesn't make it out of the fifth inning. An ERA of 6.43 in July. Scott, what do you take away from Kikuchi's last three starts? Well, they've been subpar. There's no doubt about it. And when you talk to John Schneider after the game, efficiency is the word he always uses. And when you look up in the second or third inning and he's thrown more balls than strikes, it's not usually going to end well. And this is the inconsistency we've seen from Kikuchi over these last two seasons in a Blue Jays uniform. And really, it's no different than what he's been over his career. You look at his last season in Seattle. He was an all-star, looked like a world beater up to the all-star break, then essentially cratered in the second half. So we've seen glimpses of adjustments from Kikuchi this year. He's changed his pitch mix. He's changed his attack at times. And he's going to have to go back to the drawing board because his last three starts have not been good. It's the command that really gets in the way usually. You see the stuff. You see the strikeout numbers. He's able to do that. And you look at today, obviously put the onus on the bullpen to get this series sweep and some late offense really helped them out. And really there's a lot of moving parts on this pitching staff right now. And Kikuchi potentially could be pushed a little bit over these next uh, few weeks in terms of his rotation spot if he doesn't get it together. So the Blue Jays will go back to the drawing bar and hope to get a better start from him five days from now. And a lot of moving parts for this pitching staff lately, right, Scott? You got Kevin Gossman. He misses his start on Saturday. Jordan Romano, we haven't seen him since the All-Star game where he was injured. Hyunjin Ryu uh, made a rehab start in AAA over the weekend. So just how different could this pitching staff look in a couple of weeks? Yeah, moving parts is a great way to put it. And, you know, let's start with Kevin Gosman. This guy's the ace. This guy's the most important pitcher on this pitching staff. And they're going to back him off. He's not going to pitch in the San Diego series. It's going to be Alec Manoa, followed by Jose Barrios, followed by Chris Bassett. And then they'll line uh, Gosman up. Uh, for the Seattle series on the road as long as he feels better and he did throw on Sunday according to John Schneider so he's kind of trending in the right direction but they're obviously going to be very very cautious with the left side uh, discomfort and oblique that he told me he uh, strained a little bit in his final start before the all-star break in Detroit so getting him back on in this rotation back on the mound is obviously paramount and then Jordan Romano as well is unavailable all weekend he had an MRI on his lower back they wanted to give him the benefit of the off day on Monday get him back Tuesday potentially for the San Diego series so it sounds like both at this point are going to avoid the IL and that's huge news for the Blue Jays because they can ill afford to lose either one of these guys and then you look at Hunjin Ryu Saturday night in Buffalo his first AAA rehab start he looked really really good and he threw 66 pitches so next uh, outing he's going to get into that 80 range and then once you're in that 80, 80, 80 pitch range about 10 15 pitches each time you can talk about him returning to the major leagues after his next rehab outing so the Blue Jays potentially if Manoa looks like 2022 Manoa Ryu back they could have six quality MLB starters which is a very good problem to have and that's not even without or not even mentioning the trade deadline and what they could do there so a lot of moving parts but some positivity for this Blue Jays pitching staff as well. And as Scott uh, alluded to the Jays begin a series with the San Diego Padres on Tuesday. Scott thanks for this.